Happening here, the start of another spring weekend is ahead of us. And with a little bit of rain in the forecast, it may be a perfect time for homeowners and prospective home buyers to check out the 67th annual Rhode Island Home Show. The big event is being held at the Rhode Island Convention Center right now, and that's where Brendan Kirby is live this morning. Hey, bud. Hey, good morning, Michaela. That's right. We are here live. The Rhode Island Convention Center is the site. It's the spot. It's the place to be this weekend for, as you said, the 67th Seems Impossible Rhode Island Home Show happening right here. We walked in here this morning, you guys, and it's just a, a wonderland of creativity, of projects. There's so much going on, so many things for you to learn, so many things for you to see. I may have to embrace the inner, you know, decor person that lives inside of me that is just waiting to come out. And maybe these fine gentlemen here can help me a little bit with that. We have Don Hamill from Anderson Windows and of course Scott Jensen, director of the RIDLT. And uh, Don, we'll open up with you, sir. Talk about this model home we have behind us and how it all came together. Well, it all started with the uh, workforce program, working with the students of Rhode Island, giving them a real job site experience. Last year we did Treehouse. This year it's grown into this. Uh, we had over 20 schools, over 200 students coming here to, to put this all together. And working as a team is a real job experience. These students are getting that, you know, hands on experience, as you just mentioned, really preparing them for their careers down the line, isn't it? Correct. When they come out of that school, they're, they're ready to work and, and, and take on a good paying job in the construction industry. And it really is a full house. I mean, I had my, uh, I had an, the opportunity to walk through here to kind of see fully functioning and you've really laid it out for the people who want to come by here, maybe give them some ideas, things they want to try in their own home, right? Exactly. Yep. Everything is here to see at the show, not only windows and doors, but anything else related to the home improvement industry. And Anderson, you guys are fully committed to really, as you said, preparing these students. They really, you know, are going to be ready because of you. Talk about the component you have well, here. They're our future workforce, and uh, th this is certainly a, a major investment for our company, and we believe in the students of Rhode Island, but as well as our excellence uh, dealers who are a big part of this component as well. Uh, local independent owners, companies, or right here in the state of Rhode Island. Absolutely. It's great stuff. I may have to model that a little later on, so keep it fresh. Keep it handy, all right? Put it on my shoulder. There you go, buddy. And, Scott, talk about the role of the DLT. I mean, you guys really so proud to be a part of this, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Um, this is part of our real, the governor's Real Jobs Rhode Island effort. So um, we've been working with the Rhode Island Builders Association for a long time and are just thrilled to see all the cool things that these uh, young people put together. Well, they're getting that experience. As, as we've said here, and you can't, you can't compare that to anything. When they can kind of work together, see their work, see the fruits of their labor on display, and see people experiencing it, I mean, this, it proves that the sky really is the limit for these kids. Oh, absolutely. I, it's one thing to perform, but it's another thing to perform on stage. Absolutely. And uh, you can really see what the stage they have to work on. It's absolutely. Great. It's a great event. The 67th Home Show, of course, you guys, Scott, thank you very much. Don, a pleasure to have you join us. It starts today at noon. It's already rolling. You guys will want to come out here. It runs all weekend long. Don't miss any of the fun. Lots of creativity on display. We're going to have so much more happening throughout the hour right here on the Roadshow. For now, back to you. If you are looking for something fun to do this weekend, don't worry about the messy weather in the forecast. Head over to the convention center and check out the home show. That's where Brendan is live this morning. How's it going, Brendan? Hey, Will, you know me. I'm just hanging out here in the shower of the show house, checking things out here, getting a preview of the 67th annual Rhode Island Home Show happening at the Rhode Island Convention Center. It all uh, starts started yesterday, but today's event starts at noon. You guys can come on out. It runs all weekend long. I usually am singing when I'm in the shower, but today I'm just going to emerge. I'm feeling clean and fresh here in the show house, joined by Allie Maloney of Maloney Interiors. Good morning, Allie. Good morning. Thanks for being here. It's our pleasure to be here. It's great to have you join us. Uh, uh, you drew me a bath. You were kind enough to get that ready for me as I emerged from the shower. But talk about this show house. It really is a remarkable structure. Lots of things going on here. It is. This is a 15-room designer show house, which features 10 of Rhode Island's interior designers, as well as four kitchen and bath companies. We all came together to pull this off. Um, a couple of the highlights of the home include floral elements that were designed and created by Rhode Island's floral collab team. And also um, integrated into the house is home technology provided by Flint Audio visual of Middletown, Rhode Island. Fantastic. And talk about Maloney Interiors. You know what you guys do for those unfamiliar. Yes. So we specialize in yacht interiors. We also focus on coastal residences throughout Rhode Island and southern New England. Fantastic. And you know, this is a great opportunity for people to come in to be inspired and really this weekend just have some fun, right? Yes, definitely. It's a great place to come, get some great ideas for your next home renovation project or decorating job. Absolutely. I'm thinking of purchasing a summer home on the water, but that's not true. But if I was, I'm sure you could help me out with 
with that. You know who to call. <laughs> and let's head on outside. Let's sashay and saunter on out. I'll let you lead the way, Allie, to see. I wonder who's outside. I wonder if there's anyone. Oh, look, the motion activated toilet. I love that. I need that in my home. It worked. And look who we have over here. It's Mike Acton of Arnold Lumber. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. How are you? Let's talk about trends and patios here outside. What do we need to know? Well, what we have going is outdoor cooking, uh, entertaining year-round now here in New England. Uh, everybody's been worried about the investments they put, but we're hardy New Englanders, and we'll shovel to the grills and pretty much cook steaks all year long if we need to. We absolutely will. We love uh, being outdoors. We love getting creative, and this home home show is really the place to get inspired, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. There's so many products here. Um, it covers the whole realm of your home. It's outstanding stuff, you guys. It's the 67th annual Rhode Island Home Show. Mike, thanks very much. Thank we you. want to thank Allie for joining us as well in this segment. We're going to have more as the morning rolls on. Our preview continues. I'm going to hop back into the shower for now. Back to you. Hey, good morning, guys. That's right. We're here wrapping things up from the 67th annual Rhode Island Home Show, wrapping up our segments. It runs through the entire weekend. You'll want to get your tickets. You'll want to come out and experience all that this great event has to offer. We've been walking through the displays, you guys, and it really is remarkable. You'll have a blast coming in here. Families, you guys, you name it, all ages, you'll have a great time here. And joining me right now, we have some very special guests. Carol Grant is here along with Michael McAteer. And Carol, talk to us, you know, as it says here about really what the public can learn about energy from the Energy Expo because it is so vital, it is so crucial that we educate the people about this kind of stuff. And the public can have such learning here and such fun because they are really, you can learn how to use less electricity in your house, you can learn how to reduce your energy bills, and you can also learn how to start if you haven't already, toward clean energy of various kinds in your own home. I am a tremendous advocate for this type of thing. I really believe in it wholeheartedly. I mean, we really need to preserve this planet for future generations, we don't do. we? And we can all help. The governor has set out a plan for 1,000 megawatts of clean energy in Rhode Island, and people coming to this show can figure out how they can be part of that enormous, important movement. It's amazing. From wind, solar, geothermals, you can learn about it all. It's great Efficiency stuff. Efficiency is great, too. So. Absolutely, indeed. And, uh, Michael, as it says here, let's talk no cost home energy assessments. You can come, you can make it happen for people, can't you, if they come out? Absolutely. Well, you know, one of the things is that we're delighted to be working with the Rhode Island Builders Association. It's a terrific opportunity to have our customers come down and think about what they can do, the personal steps that they can take to lower their energy bills. And all the way from looking at, we're going to have at our desk, a lot of our program managers that will be identifying the kind of strategies we have, incentives that we can do. And the most important thing that they can do is to do a home energy assessment. Well, that's the thing. I think a lot of us sort of we get caught in the day to day of our own lives. Oh, my home. I, I, I've lived in I, my home for years, for decades. This is the way it is. They don't really think that they can sort of make that leap or make that, you know, step to, to, to this type of thing, but they can. Absolutely. And these steps are, are sensible steps, right? So what we do is we bring down a, an advisor, goes through the house, looks at, well, what can we do about the insulation in the home? What can we do about sealing this up a little better? And maybe we could put in uh, Wi-Fi thermostats so you're not conditioning the house when you're on vacation, right? right? And the best thing is we can bring in the next generation of lighting, install it, and it's no cost. It's unbelievable. And Carol, the technology has evolved so much. I think if you learned about this maybe, a, you know, 10 years ago or whatever, it's changed. Oh, it's a new world. It is a new world. It's becoming more affordable for all of us, and it's becoming really exciting. Um, behind us is a great example of new technology, the solar flower that is exhibited here is an exciting new uh, European technology that is being offered here that people can come see. And I think that homeowners can do exactly, they can take really practical steps. They can have the audit, make sure they have an efficient home. They can have a solar installer come see whether they can put solar on their rooftop. And then they can think about how they can finance it. Everybody can come to the table from our office at table 115 and get ideas about how they can finance it, how they can get programs, and how they can make a difference. Outstanding. And before I leave, before you know, I, I leave the convention center, can we get a selfie with this behind us? Oh, absolutely. All right, okay, because this is the ultimate opportunity. We well, no, we'll do it after the segment. It's Michael. Thank you very much, Carol. A pleasure. You, you guys, the 67th Home Show takes place all weekend long. You don't want to miss it. Rhode Island Convention Center. Back to you.